Hey guys, it's Lisa, and welcome to my channel. I had an order for this ornament, uh, or actually an ornament uh, with a bird. And uh, so, I was going to have to do this anyway, so I just decided to go ahead and uh, use it for a video. So, um, I'm starting out with these two um, stretch canvases from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to glue them together, back to back. And then once I glue them together, uh, then I'm going to cut away uh, the um, canvas from one side of it. And that will create uh, somewhat of a shadow box. And I've done shadow box ornaments before, uh, but... Um, I just took the canvas off one of them and glued it to the front back of another one and so i decided on this one just to leave it on there and just cut it away and it was a very simple thing to cut it away now i did have to go back underneath the um the canvas and glue it because uh, it's just stretched over it and stapled so there's nothing to hold that down uh, if this becomes the front. So, um, so I just put a little bit of hot glue underneath that and, uh, and then, like I said, just cut this away from the inside. So once I finish that, then I need to hide the seam where I connected the two canvases. So I just used some clay for that. Any kind of clay here will work. Uh, I'm using the DAS, but you can use any kind you want. Uh, this is just one of those where you can actually use up the clay that you're not happy with. So I'm just filling that in. And then when it dries, uh, I can sand it, uh, or I could sand it, but I didn't even feel the need to do that. I just, um, I just painted over it because I'm going to be um, adding some lace anyway. So this is the little bird that I'm going to use and um, because the order that I had was for neutral colors, I don't want to use this yellow and the yellow is, is the closest to neutral that I have. This is just a little styrofoam bird and I don't even know where I got it. I think I got it in, a, uh, in an estate sale with some other birds. Uh, but because I don't like the color, I'm using this antiquing ink uh, and um, just really, really browning that up. You can still see somewhat of the yellow behind it, but that's okay. I just want to make this more neutral. So um, once I get this um, toned down as much as I want, then I'm also going to use some um, white wax over it to uh, to make it more neutral and i just put plenty on there and then just wipe it off and i know it seems like this wouldn't work uh, with these feathers but it really does and as a matter of fact when you finish with it um, as you can see i lost some feathers i had to glue back there but when you finish with it uh, it gives it um, you know how feathers have almost like an oily look to them it just it makes the bird look more realistic i think so um, i was happy with how this little bird turned out so then it'll perch right there on the bottom uh, but first i need to um to do something with the inside so i decided since this was going to be a christmas tree ornament uh, that i needed some christmas music in the background and so um, I decided to use um, Oh Holy Night. I just love that song and, and the title will fit in there well. That was also uh, something that I had to consider. I did have to cut the words apart, but I still managed to make it fit in there where it needed to be. So now I'm just gonna glue this in here and I just use regular school glue for this. It really really doesn't matter, but I find that this clear Elmer school glue holds really well, so I like to use that. So, um, now I'm cutting out uh, Oh Holy Night, and because it doesn't fit in width, like I said, I have to cut that apart, uh, but 
I managed to make it work. And now uh, I'm going to take some of my antique ink and, um, and distress around the edges so that that will show up well. And I decided to distress around the edges of the music sheet as well um, because I just felt like it would look better uh, doing that. And I wasn't able to get in the corners well. I should have done this before I glued it in, but I just didn't think of that. So later I take a smaller brush and kind of get down in the crease as well. But now I'm using the color Buttercream. Buttercream is a Dixie Belle color. It's chalk paint. Uh, if you're not, if you're new to this channel, I always paint with chalk paint, um, or most always. But the color I use a lot is this off-white, which is called Buttercream. And I paint all around the edges, inside and out, and then I also paint the back just to give it a good finished look on the back. And if you were making this for someone in particular, you could always sign it on the back. But like I said, this is uh, going to be an order. So, um, but anyway, so I've got this painted. One coat will cover it well. And here I am adding that extra distressing around the very edges that my other brush wouldn't work or wouldn't reach rather. And then after that dries, um, now I have some areas that I need to dress up a little bit and cover up. So down the sides of the inside, I want to cover that and, uh, and I want to cover the front. So I decided to use this wider ribbon that I thrifted and um, put the straight edge uh, on the inside and then I'll let it wrap around uh, around the front also and so I just glue it all in the front and I know that these sides uh, are not going to cover the corner or these corners are not going to cover well uh, I'm going to cut a slit in them and then there's going to be a little space there but I'm not worried about that because all of the corners are going to be hidden in some way so like I said I just hot glue this in and then, uh, and then I'll cut a slit in each corner so that it'll make that turn well. And then I'll glue it all to the front. Now I did a, a video uh, a while back where I, I used these uh, canvas, stretched canvases and put them together like this. And I trimmed that one out with uh, clay molds. But um, I just figured this um, lace will be easier. And then uh, I don't have to wait on drying time and won't have to paint over it. So um, this way was definitely much easier. And like I said, now I don't have those corners covered well, but I'm going to hide those. So, And now I'm using this thin or this uh, narrow ribbon that I get at the Dollar Tree and covering just the front of the sides and that will hide that seam. It'll go far enough over that seam that it'll hide that so I don't put anything else on the side. And the thing I like more about this lace versus the clay mold is it, it's not adding much weight at all uh, to this. And I did use a type of, um, of clay that was lighter weight but still it added weight and like I said this lace is going to add even less. Now I'm going to make a hanger out of this lace uh, and but it, it was white and I didn't want it to be just white so I'm using my antiquing ink pad and um, doing it that way and then I don't have to coffee stain it and have to wait on that to dry either. So uh, I just tie a knot in each end here and I'm just going to glue that right to the front with the hot glue. And I make sure that when I glue it to the, to the top or to the front there, that I get it glued really snug against the top there. That way it doesn't try to lean when it hangs. And um, this knot is not 
covering my little corner there as much as I would like it to. So I just decided to go ahead and make a couple of little rosettes here on this. And if you've not seen me make these, uh, I do have a video, uh, actually a few videos where I do these more in detail. Uh, but I just um, start with a knot in the center, glue that down, and then just wrap uh, some torn fabric around until I get the size rose that I want. And I'll try to remember to include that in the, the description in case you want to see that in more detail. So I just do that on both of the sides here and then uh, and then that covers my uh, corners well and i'm not going to worry about those bottom ones because i'm going to be doing adding some greenery to that later and that will be hidden completely so now i'm gonna um, add my little burr before i put my um, my words in the, my title in there so i make sure that where i place that title it's going to be visible now, i don't know if you can see here how realistic that antique ink pad made this uh, bird look so i didn't want to put that that um, word right onto the paper so I decided to put just a little bit of lace behind it to just to kind of add some more dimension to it. And as you can see here, I'm going to place that bird just up a little bit. It does have a wire on the bottom and I'm placing it up just high enough to where if it had feet, uh, it would be standing on its feet. So if you just sit it straight down on the bottom, I, I didn't think that would look as, as good. So uh, I'm just gluing it right there. That way I have room to add some greenery around the bottom. And then it'll kind of look like it's just sitting in a tree. Like I said, I thrifted these little styrofoam birds. And I know you can get them uh, in Christmas decor because I know that they make birds like this to go in Christmas trees that are lightweight. Uh, like I said, this one came from, um, I think, an estate sale at one time, and I, I had a few of them, actually, and I'm going to have to find some more because I'm running low on them. So now I'm just uh, making somewhat of a, of a uh, spray on the bottom uh, just to give it something to sit on. And I'm just layering up some different textures of greenery here. And I thought about adding some little red berries to this because I do think that it would be pretty, but uh, the order was for neutral colors. So I just found some little white berries that I could add and um, some little mistletoe with the, with the berries on it and I just left it like that. I thought the little white berries looked good, and I was glad that I didn't do red on it. And then I decided also to add some some little uh, pine cones that I had added a little bit of paint to, and um, just to add some more texture and and dimension. And I'm really liking how this one turned out. I might have to make one of these for my tree. So again, I get these little canvases from the Dollar Tree and it takes two of them to make one of these little shadow boxes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening and God bless you and your family.